Hi there, welcome to Route 85. So happy you could join us. Now for today, I'd like to show you my fantastic new app, sure to race its way up the charts, called Tick a Lift. It stars my little square friend here. I think I'm gonna call him Teddy. Hi, Teddy. Now using a standard pan gesture, I can pick Teddy up and drag him around and oh, look at him fall. Don't worry, he'll be fine. He has, he has good health insurance. But now using a custom tickle gesture, I can move my finger back and forth to tickle him. Teddy turns pink and giggles, and then he notifies HR because this is inappropriate behavior at the workplace. But, but wait, you say, how am I able to have both a pan gesture drag Teddy around while also supporting a tickle gesture? How come Teddy isn't moving around left to right when I tickle him? Well, that leads us to this episode's quick tip sent in by Ronnie Rosen, founder and CEO of Polkadot. Ronnie writes that when you create a gesture, you can designate a class to serve as that gesture's UI gesture recognizer delegate. One of these delegate methods is gesture recognizer should begin. In this delegate method, you can analyze the gesture and return yes or no, depending on whether or not you want that gesture to switch to a begin state. In tickle drop, for instance, my gesture recognizer should begin call first looks to see if the gesture recognizer being passed in is a pan gesture recognizer. If it is, then my delegate method checks to see if the user is panning upwards and that they're mostly panning in a vertical direction. If both of these things are true, this method will return true, and otherwise it won't. And then I can return true for you know, any other gesture recognizer. So if I start dragging my finger sideways across Teddy, my gesture recognizer should begin delegate method sees that this is a mostly horizontal gesture and it returns false for my pan gesture recognizer, leaving other gesture recognizers, such as my tickle one, free to respond to that touch. Now, I'm sure you could think of other areas, you know, besides just tickling things, where you might be able to take advantage of this technique. Maybe you have a tap gesture or a pan gesture that's only valid if I touch the top half of a view. Or maybe you have a pinch gesture that only activates if I'm pinching inwards or if I'm pinching at a particular speed. And so if you combine this delegate method with some of these other crazy delegate methods here, you can get some pretty sophisticated touch behavior. So I asked around and there are a few places where we use gesture recognizer delegate methods, including our gesture recognizer did begin one. One example is the Google Photos app, which consists of three vertical scroll views inside of a horizontal one. Now, typically in setups like this, you won't be able to swipe horizontally until you've stopped scrolling vertically. Well, the team found that kind of awkward to use, particularly when you've got like a huge list of photos that you're scrolling through all the time. So they address this, first by allowing two pan gestures at once with the gesture recognizer should recognize simultaneously with gesture recognizer method, and then only recognizing horizontal pans for the horizontal UI scroll view in the gesture recognizer should begin method. And now I've got a photos app where I can scroll through all my photos, but also swipe horizontally at any time. Look at that, isn't that nice? So thanks again, Ronnie, for sending in that tip. As a thank you, she will be getting this very stylish Google t-shirt. Also, a uh, shout out to the iOS tutorial site, raywenderlich.com for their very nice tutorial on how to write your own custom tickle gesture. Go check it out. But what about the rest of you? Jealous that you didn't get a t-shirt? Don't be, just email me your own quick tip at this address. If you do, and I use it on the air, I will send a t-shirt to you too. How easy is that? So thanks for watching, and I will see you soon on Route 85. Hey, Todd, I've gotten three reports from HR that you've been tickling your coworkers. Is that true? Oh, no. You see, there's a really simple explanation for this. You see, look out behind you! Huh? I can still see you. No, you can't. I'm hiding. Yeah, yeah, I can.